A very, very good uh, morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to another edition of Something for the Weekend from sunny Staines near Heathrow Airport, which is why we get a lot of overseas visitors um, to the store. Just get out of the airport. 15, 20 minutes, you're in, the, uh, in our shop. Um, lots to talk about today, including uh, the 60th anniversary from ICOM ID52E+. But we'll, uh, we'll come back to that uh, towards the end of the video. I'm pleased to see second-hand gear is still very prevalent. Lots and lots of kit being traded in because we're selling so much new, I'm pleased to see. In fact, not long to go now before the uh, Newark Ham Fest, um, where I'll be making an appearance, shaking everybody's hand and taking money. Love doing that. Right, um, where should we start, uh, Henry? I think the uh, TS890S used, although I'm not sure Tony has put a new one out here because it really is that immaculate. Massive saving on new price at three and a half thousand pounds. Still a lot of money, I agree. But when you look at the new price, that's a big saving. And even more importantly, we're out of stock till nearly November. So if you are thinking about a TS890S, that one's for you. And in rather than three months parts and labour warranty, that includes a 12 month parts and uh, labour warranty. It's got to be good. Uh, FTDX 5000 MPs, spoken about these before. Um, probably the best ever um, RSGB or HF convention it was then um, when these were released I remember queues of uh, CDXC uh, DXs and others uh, who pre-ordered these and they actually got them to me ready for the show can't remember where the show was now um, where it was located one of the many locations so uh, a chance to grab a bit of uh, HF DX Masterpiece is that a name? Don't think it is, sounds a bit rude. Um, 2250, that's 200 watts, remember. Talking of 200 watt base stations, Kenwood TS990. Um, these really are a magnificent piece of kit and the TX audio in particular, um, amongst lots of other uh, advantages of spending all this money on one. Um, TS990S, internal tuner, 200 watts, just under 4,000 pounds. I mean, you consider that's only 500 quid more than the used TS890S. I think that's really good value. Plus the fact they've only just stopped making it. Uh, and no, I don't know of a replacement. Pity that. Come on, Kenwood. Get your finger out and give us some top-end HF gear because you've got a lot of supporters out there that want to purchase your products. This has just come in. Um, Ellicraft K3 with the expensive S upgrades. That's a K3S at 1349 pounds for you Ellicraft lovers. Uh, sitting next to a Ranger 811H. Um, a very cheap way of getting 800 watts PP output on the HF at 1149 pounds. A linear amp UK have been going for years. Several uh, um, um, changes in the company now in its third iteration of course um, run by roger he's doing a brilliant job next to it another ftdx 5000 mp uh, again in superb condition few scratches on the main case um, but uh, up at 2250 actually you can see a little sale ticket that's been uh, done there and then we've got a very nice range of palstar used um, Palstar American Corporation, American company, uh, built in the old RL Drake factory, apparently. Um, and you've got 82Ks, 2KDs, uh, the 82K, and others at a, a varying different price points. Just noticed, Henry, another um, FTDX 5000 there at 2000 quid. So, I, uh, no guesses of which, um, which is going to go first. Whilst we're talking of, um, lower prices i said to tony before i come out on this video tony's he's having his lunch go on man you can stick the price on there um ts590 sgs these are available new from stock at 1650 so actually 351 pounds odd saving is good but i've noticed we've got more than two so i said to sony just cut the price down 
So after a bit of an arm wrestle and a tassel, I put them down to a thousand quid. So 999 pounds for a TS590 uh, SG. We can't do it on all the ones we have, but we can certainly do it on a two or three. So if you'd like a 590 SG in immaculate condition for under a thousand quid, just tell him the governor told you so, because uh, there it is. I think we've ordered a couple of prices already. Uh, another very, very popular wireless from Icon this time is the IC7100. I've always liked these because that is what you have sitting on your um, desk in your shack. And you have a small cord. It all comes, of course, included in the kit. There's beeps going on. Is that you? Um, but the 7100 is an all HF, six meter, two meter, and 77 transceiver. Uh, lovely big clear LCD display. Uh, and these are at 8.99. So I really, really do like those. Um, it looks like we have two of them. Um, IC7610, Icon's flagship at the moment, until they bring out their big monster machine, which is likely to be anywhere between 10 and 15,000 pounds, possibly next year, um, but wait and see. Um, 7610, Beautiful piece of kit, nice large touchscreen um, uh, LCD display at 2750. Just beneath that, the Acon 1000. I very, very, very rarely, if ever, see these. Um, yes, there is a box and everything else. And if I ask John, how much is the Acon 1000, John? He's about to tell me. No, he's not. He's still thinking about it. Well, it'll be on the website. No doubt Henry will flash up the price. Um, but um, that really is... The thing is with Acom, they're beautifully built to start off with. Uh, and I mean, to have a solid aluminium panel like that, and that beautifully made... Look at this, with that through the centre. Um, and that's nearly a kilo output on all bands, up to 50. There's an earlier uh, Acom there, the Acom 2000. That really is a beast. Nearly two kilowatts output. Again, with no price. So it's sort of, guess the price today. You'd think they would have put all the price tickets on before I started doing this, wouldn't you? Um, ICR 8500 um, receiver. Um, general coverage uh, up to a couple of gigs, I think it is. Um, keyboard entry. Nice machine. Um, there is... There was a replacement for that and still is actually. It's called an ICR 9500. But let's just stick on this 799 for a very, very nice, good performance receiver throughout the whole spectrum. Uh, do like it. FTDX 3000 going away from receivers back to transceivers at 950 quid. Um, if you go to the top shelf here, or almost top shelf, we're looking at um, IC 7300s. This one's actually got the PTRX board fitted, which is um, 150, 200 quid. So that's a good price at 950 pounds. Um, and the good old Yaesu FT450s HF and six meters again, built in tuner. And um, I've told you these are the Ds. And this is where you'll notice that the wobs almost don't wobble. That's a multifunction ones that will, uh, that has to move in various different planes. Um, when the original FT450 came out, these knobs did wobble, and I pointed it out to uh, Mr. Yezu, and sure enough, six months, a year later, the D came out, uh, and that was what he addressed. He put much, much better knobs in, so it didn't wobble about too much. Next to it is the FT897, uh, the ruggedized transceiver, HF6 again, £699. Um, accessories, Good old MFJ tuner, the MFJ948. That's a great piece of kit. If you've got a 100 watt transceiver, it says 300 watts, don't put 300 watts through it. 100 watt transceiver, um, top band to 10 meter, um, end fed wires, balance, and all the rest of it, 179 pounds. Microwave modules amplifier, for those who've only got three or four watts on um, 70 SEMs, you can get it up to 50 watts for 69 quid. These were hundreds and hundreds of pounds. So this is the last of the uh, um, microwave modules manufacturing of hand gear because it's got the light coloured um, panel on it. But 69 pounds, you could build a 50 watt UHF amplifier for 69 quid, box it up, put sockets on it. Um, Kenwood TS480, the 480 SAT. This is the 100 watt version 
where again you've got a head unit uh, with all the cables that comes in the kit um, auto tuner built in uh, HF and 6 at 799 good old bus the ICOM IC746 100 watts on HF uh, 6 and 2 meters which is more than can be said for its successor where they left 2 meters off don't ask me no idea at 599 so you want a good 100 watt 2 meter rig Actually, at 599, that isn't bad, is it? Um, what else have we got? We've got the clocks, of course. I can't believe how many of these clocks we get through. We're bringing hundreds of them to the ham fest, so if you uh, want to mail order one, then please do. Otherwise, come along with your 28 quid, whatever it is, just silly prices, and choose between green and red. But we've got both in stock. Um, FTDX 101D. Oh, it's sold. You missed that one. Goodness me, that's gone. We don't get many of these uh, secondhand. The FTDX 710 Field, uh, £725. This really does, does give um, ICOM 7300 a run for its money. And I love how simple this is. I remember sitting down with this over there when they first came out. And I didn't have the manual. I'm just sitting. It's so easy to use. Really is easy to use. And at that price, we were selling the FT450s at 700 quid towards the end. So it's 725 for a, um, a 710 really is a bargain. Um, another 7610 at 7, uh, 2749. SPE 1.5. Um, again, I don't honestly think this has been used. It looks absolutely brand new. And these cases mark really easily. This is up at 34. I do believe it's on special at 32.50. So if you want an SPE 1.5 with tuna today, rather than waiting a year for a year, year and a half for delivery, grab that at 32.50. Um, there's lots more. I see 910H checks. Um, I can definitely do that for a thousand pounds. So if you're interested in one of those with a good 10 watt transverter in it, remember that's included because it's the HX version. So um, 27023 uh, for a thousand pounds um lots more look at all the stock we've got it's just endless which i love i love lots of second hand um talking of second hand let's have a quick wander around to the um faulty finds um and a couple of oddities here in fact three really uh you got a, a ts 570d uh, only 399 now there is a reason it's only 399 this selector has had it and needs replacing you can buy them if you look on ebay you'll find them on there it needs sorting out probably costs you 20 quid 30 quid max for the pot but that's a real bargain at 399 and next to it and even more of a bargain is a kenwood ts2000 uh, the ts2000e kenwood you should have replaced it but you didn't that's available at 699 40 fines means just to remind you you buy it you can test it in store make sure you're happy with it but when you walk out the door um, we've sold it to you for pep for parts um, because we can't easily warranty something that's 24 years old now this could be up to 24 years old um, similarly the ts950 s d that's the predecessor to that lovely 990 over there at 750 pounds come in you've got got a half a day spare come in we'll put it over there put an aerial on it for you stick a, um, an antenna in the back make sure you're happy have two or three cups of coffee and you've got a real bargain at there at 750 quid similarly over this side um, ft 890 what a lovely piece of kit they were 399 pounds and also an ft 7847 at 599 it doesn't say what whether it's got any faults with it so again come in put an aerial on it for you wire it up you check it out and we'll, we'll go through it with you quickly and also talk to the engineers upstairs just in case they did make any notes on what what might be wrong with it there, and then there's the rest of it um cheap as anything i'm very surprised actually very disappointed why this uh, ft7b is still here it's only up for 250 quid Give us a call, give us 200 quid, take it away. That's that and the power supply and the little display. 200 pounds. I mean, you could spend more on that at McDonald's, couldn't you? You'd have to try, but you probably could. Um, let's quickly go back to this new icon, the anniversary edition. 
60th anniversary. It's almost as old as me, but not quite. Um, this is the ID52E Plus, and the main difference with the anniversary, oops, First of all, it looks really, I'll tell you what, I've done a good job on this. Look at this. That's the anniversary. This is fresh out of stock. We just literally put the battery in to show it off. Um, that's a nice looking piece of kit. Biggest advantage of this is it's got Bluetooth R, so it can interface with your Android phone, uh, which you can't do with the others. But that is a nice looking piece of kit. They're in stock. We've only got a very, very limited range. I think they've only made 2,400 worldwide. And we've got a handful of them and they're 61995 and that's the id52 plus 60th anniversary um, but i think that's a really nice looking piece of kit and whilst i'm still on the icon stand <clears throat> i did mention earlier we have a brand new boxed made in 2024 so they, they actually started the production because they found enough to build another i think it was 10 units the icom icr 9500 professional communications receiver they've got every right to call it that because hey, it cost an absolute fortune number one and secondly they sold them majority of them into commercial applications we were very very fortunate to get a small handful from ICOM UK. Uh, we, we grabbed the, the few that were available. Uh, they uh, We thought we'd sold them all, they found one more. We've got that now, that arrived last week. I'm sure uh, Henry's putting pictures of it up on the display. If you want a, a, a solid long-term investment for probably one of the best receivers you can purchase, Roden Schwartz had an input into the design of this thing, which is why it looks a bit Roden Schwartz color color scheme wise icon don't normally bring out blue and light gray radios we have one in stock call in now ask for john power he's very very good at um, the um, scanners communication receivers that's the icr 9500 lots of other uh, deals and bargains on we're still looking for used of course so if you have got any used please give my guys a call uh, i know you've met david uh, latest member of staff he's presented some videos um He's been with us now about six weeks, I think, if that, but uh, settling in very, very well. Um, please come down to the store. Remember, we're the only ham store in the whole of the United Kingdom, to my knowledge, that's open all day on Saturdays. So we don't go home just after lunch, where the guys are here till 4.30. Fully air conditioned, it's 24, 25 degrees outside, and it's lovely. So uh, please come down to the shop six days a week, uh, and bring your second hand gear along if you want to trade in or just buy it outright be very very happy to buy it from you that's all from me uh, and see the lads next week because i'll be in devon ta -ra.